Hello everybody, welcome back to a brand new Let's Play. Oh boy, it's been a long time since I said that, but here we are. I had to come back to it to play the brand new Monkey Island game. Return to Monkey Island is here, can you believe it? A brand new Monkey Island game from Ron Gilbert and Dave Grossman, 31 years after their last one, back in 1991 with Monkey Island 2 LeChuck's Revenge. Oh, I can't quite believe it. I've just been here on this menu, just listening to the music for ages. It's just so nice. I'm so happy. I'm so excited. And yeah, like I say, I haven't actually done a Let's Play in quite a while, but I figured all the previous games I've done as a Let's Play on YouTube, I had to come back and do this one too. I Let's Played the first Monkey Island game way back in November 2013 and just went one by one through them all. Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, The Curse of Monkey Island, Escape from Monkey Island, Tales of Monkey Island, and now we're here. Except this game is going to be a direct sequel to the second game, we're kind of ignoring the third, fourth and fifth, although I think we might see some familiar characters from them, like this little guy down here maybe, something similar to that. Uh, but yeah, enough rambling, let's get on to it. I think what I want to do is um, have a look at the scrapbook. So this scrapbook is here just as a little bit of a reminder of the first two games and the story so far. I've actually went back and um, watched and played some of the first two games to get reacquainted but uh, I'm really eager to see how they're presenting this. So we'll have a look through this first and what I'll do is I'll put on the screen or in the description uh, when to cut to for the actual start of the game if you want to skip this bit. But I'm quite eager so let's get involved. Let's see what it looks like. Hey, want to see my Mighty Pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Oh, yes, I do, Guybrush. Oh, I definitely do. <gasps> okay, let's have a look at this. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a Mighty Pirate. You certainly did. Okay, this is cool. This is cool. Can I... Tell me more, yeah. That's me, Guybrush Threepwood. That's me. Guybrush Threepwood. Okay, right. Gotcha. Let's move on. In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Of course, of course. We had to steal the idol from Elaine with the piranha poodles. Oh, God. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. Yeah, we had to do the sword fighting against Carla. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. And we had to dig up the treasure. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. Indeed it is. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. Oh, I love this. I'll, I, Joe, I'm going to get this out of the way early on in the Let's Play. Some people aren't a massive fan of the art style. I love it. I think this looks so good. Oh, what are these little badges? Oh, they're the badges we got for each one, of course. Oh, I'm a big fan of this, though. I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm all for this. Things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Oh, right, yeah. Uh, Meat Hook, Otis, Carla. Um, <laughs> yeah, they, they weren't too happy with us, were they? I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. Mm-hmm. What's this? Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. There he is. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. Wait, what's that? Is that Stan's business card? I think it might be. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Mm-hmm. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Oh, okay, that was just the same again. That's fine. That's fine. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery, covered with jungle and not found on any map. I just lo I love all these little things. This is such a good idea to do. Look, they've got the cannibals down here. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. Uh, what else have we got? Of course, the giant monkey head and the key. The monkey head opened with a special key that you stuck in its ear. On the island was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. 
LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. What are these things over here? You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. Right, of course. You had to brew oh, okay. a special potion. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. And we, uh, we met him again. I'm sure he'll pop up later on in the scrapbook. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. <laughs> That's right, yes. <laughs> Elaine had it all under control, and then we sort of went in there and uh, ruined it a little bit. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. Or so I thought. That turned out Elaine already had everything under control. How does she do that? I don't know, she's pretty good. I defeated LeChuck, and he basically exploded. Yep, we had a lovely root beer. By then, I had learned that ghosts like LeChuck are vulnerable to root beer. It just trust me, it works, okay? It was the beginning of something magical. Um, is that, is that true, Guybrush? Mm, well, we'll see, won't we? Uh, these are from the time I went to find the treasure of Big Whoop. Oh, Wally. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. Wait, what, what is that on his monocle? Or is that just kind of stuck in the page? Yeah, this was in Wood Tick, which has one of the best themes from uh, all of the Monkey Island games, I would say. Such a good theme. Mind you, like, as you can hear right now, all the music is great in this series. It really is. I met my good friend Wally, oh. who makes me the mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. Ah, oh, voodoo lady. Jiggly boobed voodoo lady. I wonder if her boobs will jiggle in this game. I'm excited to find out. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. Right, and then we get on to the, the ending of Monkey Island 2, which really bamboozled me when I Let's Played it back in the day. One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. Oh, okay. Oh, interesting. I didn't actually think they would mention anything about Curse of Monkey Island in this. I thought it would end uh, These here. are from the time I went to find the huh. treasure of... One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. Right, because the end of Monkey Island 2 is, of course, a uh, child, child version of Guybrush and his brother LeChuck walking out of Big Whoop Amusement Park. Uh, and then it was sort of left a bit to your imagination about what that means. <laughs> um, and like I say, I was a little bit like, what? But okay, yeah, Curse of Monkey Island. Some more stuff happened. Uh, yeah, I'm really surprised this is included. The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. He thinks of her as furniture. I guess maybe these are the bits that they sort of cherry-picked from those later games to include in the, in the canon as it were. Oh, we'll see. Oh, I know who this is. It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. I erupted a volcano on purpose. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. Oh, I got buried alive. Things backfired on LeChuck because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Game, set, matchmaker. This was a great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. Okay, right. Uh, that's a lovely little picture there. This is the daisy we stomped on together. The wedding traditions are weird. That's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. What are these? I don't know why you have to have candy-coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. Oh, I didn't know that either. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. 
All right, so then what's next? Oh, man. This was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. Oh, Escape from Monkey Island. The first foray into 3D. It, it's not my favorite. It wasn't as bad as it was made out to me, um, but it was a little bit clunky. And yeah, some weird stuff happened with like giant robot monkeys at the end. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. LeChuck and I battled it out oh. on a grand. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate or even an insult at all. Or was it? Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, all that monkey fight in as well. Goodness. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. Yep, this was Tales of Monkey Island, our last adventure. Or at least, I thought it was our last. But, uh, oh, they got the tarot cards. I love the design of these. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death. Except when it does. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. Morgan LeFlay betrayed me even after we bonded inside a giant manatee. I should have trusted her less. Elaine wasn't fooled by LeChuck's human form any more than I was. I should have trusted her more. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, LeChuck turned human in that one. <laughs> How did I forget that? It wasn't even that long ago. I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. Love did win out in the end. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. I defeated LeChuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. Yeah, then he started to like seep out all green goo and everything. It wasn't very nice. It wasn't very nice at all. Note to self, get more paper for the rest of my adventures. Oh, is that it? Have we run out? Oh, okay. Interesting that the, uh, the LeChuck doll is right at the end. What does that mean, I wonder? Well, there you go. That's a little bit of a whistle-stop tour of the first five games in the Monkey Island series. Very nostalgic, lots of that. But enough with the rose-tinted glasses. Let's get on with a new adventure and start a new game. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Right, first things first, casual mode or hard mode? Well, I think the answer's pretty clear, isn't it? We have to go hard mode. More puzzles, harder puzzles. The full monkey. For the pro adventure gamer who wants it all well, I don't know if I'm necessarily pro, but I think we've played enough now to warrant a uh, hard mode. Guybrush, come over here, gently now. Remove my mask. Will you promise to stop picking on me? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids, you're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah! Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry, I found him. <laughs> <laughs> um, come on, let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. Ah. It's so lifelike. Ah. I wonder if it's real. Sorry, boys, could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on, I saw a scurvy dog shack back there. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way, you have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No bullet. 
Wow! Oh, little guy brush is so cute. Okay, well, hey, pause, 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 I pause, pause, pause. Scurvy pause. dog that was big. Wait a minute. First of all, let me just mess around with the sound a little bit. Okay, that's a little bit more balanced now, I'd say. Um, so hang on just a moment. I was just saying about the end of Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge. We walk out, we see our parents. LeChuck, as our brother, has the red eyes. But they weren't our parents? Like the vision we had when there's the dancing skeletons and everything? Um, I guess um, maybe we're orphans. Oh, this is a lot to take in. Oh my goodness, I can't believe this. Right. Than my head. Look at oh, this is honestly though. Look how cute little guy brush looks. Not so much LeChuck. Chucky, of course. He's not LeChuck now, is he? He's Chucky. Little Chucky. Chucky has good ideas. So this is something else I want to look at. Is the interface, um, which is kind of interesting. So there's no sort of like inspect, look, push, pull. Open, close, give. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. Oh, that sounds great, Chucky. Uh, none of that. It's it's a lot more sort of intuitive and, and reactive by the looks of it. So let's ask Chucky for some good ideas. What should we do next? we got to get to scurvy dogs. I, I can't believe you never had one. Okay, to scurvy dogs it is. What's in our bag? A to-do list. Oh. I just, I, I, this is just, it's already beautiful. <laughs> Looking at this dirty bit of paper, I'm still gonna say, I love it. We gotta buy some scurvy dogs. Okay, you dirty dog. Where do we go then? I guess in there, right? Let's have a little look over this way first. Can we head back into where we came out of? I once had the hiccups oh. for four days straight. That sounds horrific. Uh, where did we come out of? Exhibit removed. Ah. Oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> All right, there's a little rat having the time of his life in that barrel. Oh, the scary door. Let's not go back there again. We'll just get yelled at. Yeah, let's get scurvy dogs instead. <sighs> I'm hungry. All right, you want some scurvy dogs, fine. Fine, fine, but I need to go look at the outhouse first and mess around. It's locked. Maybe one of the shops has a key. Okay. Anyone else around here? The parrot, is it real? Sounds real. So is there not a right click right now? No, nothing does right click. I guess it will tell me if something can be right clicked. <gasps> Muck around. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> hey, Chucky, get ready to run. Hmm. I guess they don't like visitors. Let's go next door and get scurvy dogs. I'm going to just assume that that was a reference to me. I don't care if it's not and that muck is actually just a regular word. They were they were referring to me. And I really I really like that. Thank you, Ron. Thank you. Oh, do we want to wake this guy? Um Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um Hello? Boo! Ha! Ah, he's dead to the world. Well, he's not... Well, okay. We'll come back to him, maybe. Let's go, uh... Do, hang on, what's the sign? Did you know... The words don't look like words. But there's a picture of a scurvy dog. Wait, can we not read? I don't know. Oh. Hello there. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, so once you get look, once you get more things to do, it's sort of... They call a scurvy dog a chien scorbut. You're actually quite smart, aren't you, Chucky? I thought you'd be dumb. I'm sorry. I, I just assumed. That was really wrong of me to assume that. Oh, there's a key on a peg leg. They put it on a leg to keep you from walking off with it. <laughs> Can we grab it? Snag the key. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. I'm quite surprised he just let us take that, to be honest. So in here, we can grab and we can examine. It unlocks the outhouse outside. Okay. Well, we'll go back there in just a sec. It says, 
Return outhouse key when finished, or else. Or else what? So there's the scurvy dogs. We probably have no money. <laughs> I mean, we're just a pair of kids. Let's talk to the guy. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> Make fun of his glasses again. Oh, yeah. Those glasses are thicker than the layer of grease on the floor. <laughs> I don't see very well, but I can hear just fine. That's going to be me when I'm older. Oh, dear. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah. We've got all kinds of money. Let's see. A couple of scurvy dogs, chicken foot fries, a mug of grog. Well, we've got to try, haven't we? Can we get a mug of grog, please? Grog's for grown-ups. Beat it! What about some near grog? I'd, I'd settle for some near grog. Now what? What about some chicken foot fries? Can we get some chicken foot fries? You got two pieces of eight? That's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Have you got any? No. Then no fries! Oh, I've just realised something. Uh, I have not got subtitles on for the text. That is going to be under interface. Nope. Sound. Nope. Video. Nope. Text and language. It's, just, it's the one that's called text and language. That makes sense. Uh, let's have... T wait, text and speech. Radio, writer's cut, more blather, worse pacing. Um, that's off by default. I think I'm going to leave that off. I think I'd rather have better pacing than blather. But there you go, that is an option if you're interested. Text and speech, speech only. Okay, that should be right, shouldn't it? Let's check. Now what? Uh -huh. There we go. So we, we've got no money. I was right. We can still try, though, can't we? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. Mm, please? Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. Man, this really is me. This is me from the future. Or the past, I don't really... Yeah, anyway, uh, fine, never mind. I guess never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. Alright then. That's kind of gross, but sure. One, else, uh, one thing though, very quickly. Can I make it a bit smaller, the text? It's quite big. I can. Hopefully this is fine. Speech text back here. Da, da, da. Speech text size small. We'll keep the hover text size big though. Well... There's lots of options here. Give me one second. I'm just going to try some of these out. Okay, I think I'm going to leave it like that. That seems like a good a good balance. It's still readable, but it doesn't take up so much of the screen. Anyway, let's go. Let's go dig around some toilets for some loose change. Uh, mess around. All right, let's, uh, let's try and test this out. So, grab, and then unlock. Nice. Good. You unlocked it. Oh, smell the sludge. Why would we? <laughs> Why is that like the default thing? Who goes around smelling sludge? Actually, don't answer that. I don't want to know. Ugh, what is this stuff? It smells the same as the toilet. Oh, I just love how much movement and life there is in all of these screens. Like, look at this little bug in the foreground and fly. Oh, this is so good. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. That's lovely. What's that? It isn't a piece of eight, 
But it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Give me it then. Oh, peel it off the floor. Lovely. A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. Did you know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them? Already on it, Chucky. Don't worry. Gross. Gross. Okay, so we actually can't put our hand down there or anything. Maybe that's for the best. Oh, what about down there, though? Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. <laughs> Gross. At home, I've got a collection of old scurvy dog sticks that fills a whole shoebox. You know, I'm kind of glad that Guybrush didn't do that. I thought it was going to turn into something out of train spotting then. <laughs> Not nice at all. Oh, what does the sign say? What is the sludge? Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. Oh, that's the... That's meant to be the clean water? Oh. Um... Alright then. It looks like a piece of eight, if you don't see very well. How many pieces of eight did we need? Oh, I guess we got enough. So says our to-do list. So let's head back. Oh, what's that over there? Is that a beach? Oh, are people on the beach playing? I hope, uh, maybe we'll get a chance to go there soon. Right, me. Future me. Have your stinking dirty fake coin. What can we get with this? Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. Yum! What do you want to do now? I don't know. What do you want to do? Those close-ups of the scurvy dogs, they remind me of that bit from The Simpsons where Apu drops the hot dog <laughs> on the camera. Oh, man. Oh, we've still got a bit left. Okay, so we can take a bite or just grab it. Ooh, maybe we should try and use it on the parrot? Actually, let's just eat some first. We've earned it. We've earned it. So good! Oh my god, we've got a never-ending scurvy dog. This is amazing. Let's go maybe try it on the parrot. D do parrots like hot dogs? I guess we'll find out. No is the answer. What about on that guy? No. We can't use it on them. Interesting. Interesting. Can we walk over this way more? Oh, we can just leave. Oh. Alright then. That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky, what are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. Uh, excuse me. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sid Heads. What did you just do? What do we got to do now? Oh man, you. You just put loads on. Mess around and explore. Check out the anchor, beat Chucky in a race, feed the duck. Add some sauce to my scurvy dog, practice sword fighting. Oh, we need that. Uh, find a four leaf clover, make a wish at the wishing well. Find our real parents. It's quite an important one at the end there. Maybe we should do that before the messing around and exploring. Actually, no. No, let's, let's, let's mess around. Oh wait, hang on, one of them was about an anchor, right? Check out the anchor. Well, we can do that. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat, 
shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. Then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow-shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper V-shaped design that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. You can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. The little flanges at the tips are at different angles to make it twist on the way down for the same reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around that by making them out of But the, the word anchor, they're called that. Okay, yeah. I get the point. <laughs> oh, if you missed anything, you can press comma to see previous lines. Oh, now that is... <gasps> Down arrow to see more previous lines, up arrow to go to the next line and escape. Oh, that is so useful. I know some point and clicks do have a sort of um, dialogue history page. That's really good. And hey, now I can actually go and read about anchors later on. <laughs> I was finding some of that interesting up to a point. Um, nice. Oh, I hope she doesn't mind that we just skipped all like half of what she said. Okay, now she's fine. She's she's kissing a catapult or slingshot, whatever that was. Right. Is that checked off of our list now? It sure is. Beat Chucky in a race, feed the duck. Where are some ducks? Oh. There's a duck. A cute duck. And there's our fake parents. Excuse me. Yes? Can we have some of your bread? Will you pretend to be our parents again? Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? along and find your real parents. Oh, well, easier said than done. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. I'm just going to grab some of this. Hey, hands off. Wow. What a, what a mean old lady, not letting a kid take some of her bread to feed a duck. Can we push her in the lake? Or the pond, anyway? There's no push option, you see. Sometimes this new, uh, this new way of doing it isn't so good. I would definitely try and push if I could. Uh, <laughs> let's just ask him for some bread Excuse then. Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Okay, that's it. Definitely push. I need to find a way. I need to find a way. P? P to push? Mm -hmm. Nope. Not going to work, is it? I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days, they have no regard for personal property. And no respect for your elders. I have half a mind to give you a piece of my mind. And I've got the other half. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. Blah, 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 blah. Blah, 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 Blah blah blah. They're not gonna blah, stop, blah, are they? Blah 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 blah. Blah blah blah. Okay. Get, get, get away How from rude. them. Get, <laughs> get away from them right now. Oh, is that blood? What's this red glob on the ground? That's ketchup. It's supposed to be really good with scurvy dogs. Oh, alright, well that that's a little bit better. Let's just give that a little uh, wipe with our scurvy dog then. You should put that on your scurvy dog. All right. So I guess this is sort of teaching how to combine things. Wait, should we sniff it? Let's sniff the red glob. It smells bad. Oh. Oh, well. Spread some red glob on the scurvy dog. You know, that is actually really clever, how the text changes and it makes it really specific to what you're doing. That's really nice. That's not so nice. Yuck! I don't 
think that was ketchup. Whoops. Let's not think about that. Right, so we need to think of a way to steal their bread. What does this sign say? Don't feed the duck. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sure the duck does not agree to that. I want to feed the duck! We'll come back to you, duck. Uh, oh, four-leaf clover. Yes, please. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> As if! Let's look for a four-leaf clover. Okay. Good luck with that. Wait. Okay, it's, it's that simple, is it? We just... <laughs> I thought it would actually make us look through loads of different clovers. But no, it's right there. I found one! Awesome! There was still one left? Darn! Guybrush has very clean fingernails for being a pirate. And just sticking his, uh, his, his hand on the ground to pick up some ketchup. So, nice job, Guybrush. Ooh, practice sword fighting. Okay. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way. You'll never catch up to my level. I win. I win. Uh-uh. <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun. Oh, look, there's the cannibals at the top again. There's Lemonhead. Are they here? I hope not. Ask D to I practice can stand sword on my fighting. Head without using my hands. Be quiet, Chucky. Okay, let's ask. Um, let's ask D. Do you want a sword fight with me? I've seen you fight. Come back in a few years, maybe. That's a no. I feel like we're getting a fair few bits done now. Yep. Uh, make a wish at the wishing well. Feed the duck. Beat Chucky. I think I saw somewhere to race back here. Aha. Uh -huh. Hey Chucky, wanna race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Well, that was easy. I win! <laughs> I tell you what, this is really reminding me of. Like, Guybrush as Bart and Chucky as Nelson. I'm just getting that vibe. I really am. Anything else over here that I missed? I don't think so. So now it's just the wishing well and the duck. Yeah. Where is the wishing well? Can I double click to run? I certainly can. I should find a coin to throw in. There's one right there. Maybe I should throw this down the wishing well. I think that's a grand idea. Right, what are we gonna wish for? I wish Chucky had a mustache. I wish we had a mustache. D would disappear. A cool plant, another scurvy dog. We could speak backwards. Oh, that is, that is tough. D is kind of annoying. A cool plant, I mean, that could be anything really. Another scurvy dog, um, or speak backwards. I think we're gonna go with a cool plant. I don't know why, might be interesting. I wish for a cool plant. A plant? What a waste of a wish. Ooh. Ah! <laughs> I take it back, that was the best. You're damn straight it was D, I'm the best at making wishes. Right, just left to feed the duck. How are we gonna do this then? Do we need to distract them or? Well, now we've read the sign, maybe we can tell them off because they're feeding the duck and they shouldn't be. Excuse me. Yes. No. Never mind. And we can't pick up the bread. So what could we do? What else? Anything else selectable around here? Maybe D can help us. I want to say two scurvy dogs at the same time. That's a nice tree. I'm only pretending to look at the tree. I'm actually spying on that couple by the pond. 
Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you want to help me with that? Have they done anything suspicious? Very. I think they're trying to catch the duck. What for? Dinner. Oh, no, now that's not on. Push them both in. I think they're only feeding the duck? Uh, you haven't been watching them as long as I have. How's the surveillance going? He keeps tapping his foot. I think it might be a code. Hmm. Really? I'm not too sure about that, D. Oh, now I'm only going to think about Arrested Development. <laughs> Sweet D. Talking about a bird, of course. Right. Maybe Chucky can help us. I guess Chucky might be the way to get some hints. I wonder where this path goes. Oh, maybe not. Maybe we actually just need to carry on with the path and then come back. Because I know this game does have uh, a hint system. And it's like a really clever one. It knows exactly what you've done and everything. Are we done here? We might not be able to come back if we head this way. Ah. Uh, then I guess no. We're not done. Let's see then. Back to this couple. Do we want to try and lure the duck with something? Wait, what do we actually need to do? We need to feed the duck ourselves. Well, who says we need to feed it with bread? Can't we feed it a scurvy dog? I'm saving this scurvy dog for myself. I once had the hiccups for four days straight. All right, no scurvy dog for the duck. How about a scurvy duck? Hmm. That basket is very intriguing as well. Can I try and get in the basket again? I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. Grab that no now. regard for personal property. Gotta run. Uh -huh. How rude. We distracted them. Thank you, Chucky. Right, you two can go away. I'm going to feed the duck and he's going to like my bread more. From this side of the pond. I stole it from that couple. It's nice to see that Guybrush is stealing at a nice early age, just like he will do in the future. Great, we're done. Now, one thing left to do, find our real parents. What if they're just beyond this gate? You never know, they might be. Come on. Oh, wait. I was right. <laughs> Hang on a minute. Is this Guy Brush Jr.? Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah! We got scurvy dogs! Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures! We just did Big Whoop! Big Whoop? Oh, boy. That takes me back. I like it when Chucky asks me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's fun! But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding The Secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? <laughs> I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch.
feels good to be back on Melee Island, the hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Well, you know, freebooting mostly, swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck. What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no. I'm not sailing with LeChuck. You know my history with him. Oh, okay. Wow. This now feels like we're actually starting. That intro with the music and the, oh, I had a biggest smile on my face. And here we are, back at the lookout. So, let's just get this straight. The ending of Monkey Island 2, LeChuck's Revenge, the two kids were Guybrush's children playing, and now we are Guybrush telling a story again to our son, kind of like how we were bookending the story in uh, Monkey Island 2, where it's actually just a big flashback. Okay, I think I got that. <laughs> right, so, uh, LeChuck kidnapped my wife, he did. Evil zombie and ghost pirate, terror of the seas, enemies for my whole career, that's true. Uh, he still has all the best ideas, I'm out of my voyage. We could go with any of these, to be honest. We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. The Chuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? That's not the point. This guy knows too much. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag, a depraved, ruthless villain, and a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? That guy steals all my best ideas. Are you sure it isn't the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The Chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that case, you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the Scum Bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum Bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. Yeah, come on, give me some credit, old man. I, My memory's not that bad. Chat with the old pirate lookout some more. Um, all right, let's just see what he has to say. Shouldn't you be on your way to the scum bar to talk to the pirate leaders? Well, I was just about to head down there. All right, so not much is the answer to that question. Stare into the bonfire or warm my hands. Oh, wait a minute, do we have anything on us? Oh, we do. So we have, I'll, I'll check the list in a moment. We have some money. I've got a few coins for incidentals. We got our state-of-the-art pen. The pen is mightier than the sword. And we've got our trusty horse armor. This has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years. Okay, I'm sure this is gonna be really useful. In fact, let's, let's see, let's try it. Nope, okay, never mind. <laughs> I think this is gonna stay in our uh, inventory for pretty much the whole time. Um, and let's have a look at our list. Mighty pirates to-do list. Talk to pirate leaders to get money. Use the wads of cash to outfit expedition. Find the secret of Monkey Island and relive the glory days. Oh, we're trying to chase the glory days. That never ends well, but hey, I'll give it a shot, I guess. Uh, right, let's go down. Let's go down and see the scum bar, the, the town here on Melee Island.
Oh yes. I've seen some of this stuff in the kind of like teasers before the game released, but I did try towards the end not to pay too much attention. I wanted it to still be a bit of a surprise. So, oh, there's a big bird there. What's this poster of? Is that, is that Marley? Doesn't look like Marley. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's dedicated to dedication. Oh, Carla became the governor. Oh, I'm good. I'm so pleased to see that. That's so nice to hear. Okay. Oh, oh, is that the Chuck? He's like literally right there. Um, that's kind of weird. He's so close. So, so soon. Okay, well, before we do that, let's do what the lookout says. Head towards the scum bar. Talk to the pirate leaders inside. Oh, there's no guy swinging. Where's the swinging guy off the chandelier type thing? Oh, hello. I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. Can I have your grog? No, I can't. What are these guys doing? I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition. In the back. All right, all right, in the back, I know. Wait a minute. Where's the loom guy? A collectible card trivia book. Ooh. It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. Wait, are there actually are there actually collectibles in this game? Oh, I love collectibles. This is great. In the back of the scum bar is. Wait, is it actually like a little quiz? Oh my god, this is amazing! Oh my. Okay, well in the back is a kitchen. And what do we get for that? Uh, tick. Yes, click off, go back. I don't know, maybe we need to get all of them right before something is revealed. Oh, that's neat. Hopefully, I mean, this will be quite embarrassing if I get any of these wrong, but we'll see. Is that the loom guy there in the fort? No, that's not him. New decor. Looks like a circus act, maybe. Oh dear. Is it the Fettuccini brothers? Wait a minute, these aren't the same guys. Ooh. Um. <laughs> That's interesting. That's an interesting music change. Hey. Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. We're the pirate leaders. Get lost. Oh, okay. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. No. Uh, where are the three older guys who used to hold court? Is it you I should talk about financing an expedition? I don't think they're going to be very welcoming to us. Just a hunch. I hadn't heard there was a change of leadership. Oh, no. Did nobody remember to notify you? Maybe your party invite got lost in the mail. Where are the three older guys who used to hold court here? Who cares? Probably crying in an alley somewhere, wishing they were still relevant. Making up trials for each other and writing memoirs that no one will read. Oh, well, that's sad. Is it you I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition? Who is it that you think you are exactly? Well, oh, hang on. I'm surprised there isn't a line in here about mighty pirating. Uh, Ungaibra Streetwood, probably you've heard of me. Rock solid investment. Humble pirate unworthy to be in your august presence. Um, no, they must have heard of us. Come on. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison. Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous. I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing. Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent. It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Don't bother. He's just a harmless hack who thinks he has a good idea for a pirate raid. Wait, 
a hack? I mean, I guess we are kind of a hack sometimes, but still, that hurts. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. Uh, surprise of incalc... Well, I don't know what it is. Is it incalcul <laughs> incalculable monetary value? Cultural value? It is a mystery for the ages, like 30 years. That's that's quite true. Or it's a personal passion. No, it's a mystery for the ages. It's a mystery for the ages that must be solved. The only mystery here is who let you into this bar. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I'm sensing some reluctance, but hear me out. I don't like these guys. In fact, surely if Governor is the car, uh, if Carla is the governor, she well, actually, she might not be too friendly either. Um, uh oh. Right, what uh, what are we gonna go with? Let's see. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. I could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good one. If you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes. The dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. <laughs> no, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye-bye. Well, the slight problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are basically mortal enemies. <laughs> Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. Uh, I like the old pirate leaders better. Well, that was kind of embarrassing, wasn't it? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of these new guys. Madison, Captain Madison, and was it Lila and Trent? But does this mean that we're now gonna have to team up with uh, LeChuck? Kind of like we did in Tales of, uh, yeah, Tales of Monkey Island when he was a human. Maybe. What have we got added to our list? Get or find a ship. Uh-huh, and then find the secret monkey island, yep. Um, and then what was that other item? Was that just the, yeah, the trivia book? I'm gonna have to keep an eye on this. I loves me some trivia. And then still the other stuff. Cool, right, well, uh, that's probably gonna do it for the end of this first episode. Uh, you may have noticed, I'm gonna try and make these episodes a little bit longer. Not like back in the day with 20 minute episodes. No, no, we'll try and go for hour-ish episodes um, just so it doesn't take ages to get through this game. But I hope you've enjoyed. It's been really nice to be back recording a Let's Play actually. And of course, back playing a brand new Monkey Island game. Pinch me, I'm dreaming. Uh, so yeah, until next time, thank you very much for watching and goodbye.